I am having some coffee this morning. It is Sunday, March 29th. This is one smart point this morning. Good morning, guys. It is um, Sunday today, mm -hmm. the 29th. And we're having uh, another egg sandwich like we had yesterday. I put onions on it this time. So this is going to be three smart points. That's it. Okay, we are having these Mexi rolls for lunch because we love them so much. And I just put Corey's idea. You take your sour cream and you put a dab of taco seasoning in there. That is what we're having for lunch and eight smart points for everything. These are the beans. I was pronouncing these wrong on my cook with me last time, but these are the delicious beans. You get the non-fat version and those are zero smart points. And then with the turkey, I get the 99% fat-free turkey. Those are zero. And then all you got to count is the shells, which are three points for three of them, right? Yep. And then if you put any cheese, we put a little bit of the Trader Joe three blend cheese, and that's just one point. So four smart points normally, but we had to use, um, oh, and then you count your sour cream too. So check out my video on how to make these. And if you use this type of bean, these taste way better than the Mexi Rolls at Taco John's. Way better. 37 grams of the Pro Granola for a snack. Just two smart points. This is the Pro Granola that we eat, and it's the Vanilla Cinnamon Cluster. Two points for 37 grams, I think. Yeah, half a cup, 37 grams, two smart points. That is it. I will link this down below so you can check this out. I get this off of Amazon. So this is chicken breast that I baked in the oven with some Italian seasoning pack, the Italian seasoning packet. And I let it sit in there on low heat for a couple hours and it's really soft or really tender. And then this is our refried beans and I fried those up in the pan as well and they're so good. So this is dinner tonight, and this is actually one smart point because I just have a little bit of oil in it. Everything else is zero. So last week we had one really bad thing happen. We ended up having to put Jack to sleep, our cat, and Nick did not do so well at the vet's office. We took him, on, because it was a Saturday and all the other vets were closed, we ended up having to take him to the ER. And... He, what happened to him was that morning, Saturday morning, so Corey ended up having to go to work on Saturday. So I went downstairs right after he left for work in the morning, went down to get the, our breakfast to make because you guys all know that we're using a tiny college fridge up here because our fridge broke down. We're on a strict budget right now to try and get our debt paid off. So we're not buying a new fridge yet. So I had to go down and get eggs for my breakfast. Jack was there and he was following me around. He was as sweet as ever and I pet him and stuff and, and then about a half an hour later, I made breakfast and I ate, and then I was watching a YouTube video, and I heard what I thought was a child, a young child saying, help me, help me. And then Luna just jumped off my lap and she went barking at the door like crazy, like she barks at people when they come over. That's how she was barking. And then I turned off my video and I went to the gate and I listened, and then I heard like a like a really low cat meow I'm like oh jack is stuck in the garage because jack is one that does not like the outdoors so i went downstairs to let him in from the garage turned out he wasn't in the garage he was in the living room downstairs and he was dragging himself with his front feet and his back feet were not working so i'm like oh no ran upstairs woke nick up and said we have to go to the vet's office right now ended up being saddle thrombus where it their back legs are paralyzed really nothing you can do to help them there is medication that could help them but they're still going to be in pain and may only live a couple more months and i didn't want to put jack through that so we decided we're going to put him to sleep he was in tremendous pain got him there and i said you guys have to give him some pain meds he was in severe pain so they did that and then he, we were in the waiting room because we were waiting for Corey to get there. And we said goodbye to him. It was just uh, so sad, guys. It was so sad. I'll post a picture here. Um, Jack's last picture that we got of him. It was super sad. But um, I think it was, I think we made the best decision for him. And now he's no longer in pain. But that was last week, Saturday. Rough week for us. No more Jack. 
and we're not getting any more cats right now until we get our budget figured out. Then we ended up learning that Miley was not 10 years old, she's 12 years old. So that was kind of upsetting because 12 years old already and probably won't be long before we have to put Miley to sleep as well. So we'll be down to two dogs. So that is our bad news for last week. So let's move on to happier things. It is Sunday today. I know I haven't filmed in a while, but I have a good reason why I haven't. We just recently purchased the Dave Ramsey Financial Peace University and we've been binge watching that because it's it's free right now. So if you guys are interested in that, check it out on his website, DaveRamsey.com. I am not sponsored by him by any means. So we just really liked the program and it was an awesome program. I explained more about it in my budget video. So if you're interested in it, check that out for March 30th, March 27th, I think the budget video is for, and I posted it today got it edited and stuff. So if you want to learn more about that, you can check out that video. Otherwise, with our weight, because we haven't had a meeting, we've been weighing in at home. I went up a pound, Corey went up three pounds, but he has been having to eat out a lot at work. And because of the coronavirus, he's on there. What are you on, honey? Pandemic response team. He is on the pandemic response team. So he, they have been eating out for lunches. So he's put on three pounds, but he, you know him, he can lose that like within the week. So he should be fine. I did gain a pound this last week. I'm okay with that though, because I'm stuck home constantly and eating more than I normally do. So I'm back to filming now and that will help me try and calm down what I've been eating. Haven't had any peanut butter though. Actually, yes, I did. I had one little sandwich with light peanut butter on it. And then that was it. So I've been doing really good on the peanut butter. I was really struggling with that darn peanut butter, but I'm doing really good now with that. And then we have been under quarantine here, completely locked down quarantine. And we can go out to get groceries. We can go on some little walks as long as we're not around other people. So I've been trying to, it's supposed to be warming up here soon. So I'm going to try to get out and walk a little bit more and bring the dogs out. I've been taking the dogs out every day to run in our field. And they've been loving that because they've been kind of cooped up in here as well. So I've been trying to get them out every day to run. And Eclipse needs lots of running because he's a big dog and he gets really energetic. So I've been taking him out. We've been just making our meals here at home. I did Walmart pickup last time for groceries and I shopped for my mother-in-law because she's almost in her 80s. So I, I want to make sure she doesn't have to go out into the grocery stores and stuff. And my son-in-law offered to bring our food to us as well. So that was really nice of him. I may take him up on that offer because I hate going to the grocery store. I did find some N95 masks that my mother-in-law gave us, like a backpack full of emergency equipment. And they actually had some N95 masks in there. So I may start wearing those guys. I, I may be the only one doing it, but... I'm just, I don't want to get this virus. I really don't. And I don't want to give it to my mother-in-law who has been really sick and she just recovered from cancer and a bunch of other stuff. So she would not do well with this virus. I am working on the cook with me on those beans, those refried beans. We did do another batch, but we're just not 100% happy with it yet. We want to change some things up. When I get it to where we absolutely love it, I will share that recipe with you guys because we really do like it so far, but we just need to tweak it and make a little few, a few more changes to it. So once we get that done, we will definitely post it for you guys to check it out. With us being stuck at home, Corey is now working from home. So tomorrow he will be going to work downstairs in our basement. So I will have him here for, I don't know how long, I don't know how long this is gonna continue to go on. I'm glad that they're doing that it this way because I don't think that we should be back to normal anytime soon because it's, it's a pretty serious virus and I don't want it and I'm sure most of you don't want it. So be sure you guys, if you have older parents or older people, older neighbors, be sure to help them out and ask them if you would, if they would like you to go shopping for them, if you're already going and just help them out a little bit so they don't have to go into those grocery stores full of germs and kids that are, you know, kids don't know any better. So please try and keep your kids at home because kids are touching everything. Even if you really tell them not to, you can't keep an eye on them completely in the store. So they'll end up touching things and spread things around and it's just not a good environment for children right now. So try to keep your kids at home. Try to have just like one person going to the grocery store and shop. If you have two, if you have two go in the grocery store, you're like twice as likely to catch this virus. So one in the grocery store, 
helps other people keep distance from you as well. It doesn't get so overcrowded. Let me know down below what you guys are doing if you are on lockdown for a coronavirus. Let me know what you're doing. What do you guys do during the day? Do you play games? Do you go out for a walk? I'm just curious as to what others are doing because it's kind of boring in here not being able to get out. When you know you can't go somewhere, that's when it starts bothering me. Now that I got my car fixed, now I can't really go anywhere anyway, so that kind of stinks. But we're holding in, we're holding our own here and we're doing pretty good. I'm just hoping to stay healthy and I'm hoping all of you stay healthy. Let me know down below what you guys do during this lockdown. And if you're not on lockdown, let me know that too. We will talk to you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already and be sure to share it if you think anybody else may like it. I'll try to get another what I ate out there again tomorrow because it definitely helps me stay on track. So we will talk to you guys soon. Bye. I got you. You got me. We are too. Too lucky. Lee, your name spells home Since the day you were born You have always known When I need you the most Oh ho Oh ho My best friend got sent My own good fortune You know you are Double flame whisper, my soulmate sister. You know you are.